I've got the cast and producers of What We Do in the Shadows here with me to play a little game called Roommate Most Likely 2, which is not the catchiest title, I know, but basically I will give them a roommate scenario and they'll debate amongst themselves which vampy or familiar roommate would be most likely to, as the name would suggest. So why don't we get to it? The roommate most likely to leave the most hair everywhere. Nandor. Or, or Laszlo. Well, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, no, I would say Mark because it's falling out of you the quickest. Oh, can I actually, I need to, what, what kind of hair are we talking about? Any hair. The kind of hair you wouldn't want to see if you were somebody's roommate and you look down and you're just like, this is not what I want on my floor right now. <laughs> not facial hair, then it's pubic hair, which they clearly don't maintain. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's the rest of them, clearly. You mean clock springs? <laughs> Do you ever call them that? <laughs> no! I've never heard that. <laughs> but that counts! Yeah. I don't want to see that on my floor. <laughs> Roommate most likely to play exceptionally loud music. Colin Robinson. That's gotta be Colin Robinson. But hey. Nash is a good one too, because she would probably play her own albums or something with last night. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Feeling horny for blood. No, no. <laughs> Which roommate would most likely leave passive-aggressive notes everywhere? Is it possible for when you leave the house to blow out the candles? Nandor, maybe. Nandor. And Colin Robinson. <laughs> uh, I think Colin, to annoy everyone. Did we it's agree on the part, part of the fridge is uh, my bit, or did we not? Okay, so roommate most likely to smell the worst. Oh, that's mean. Vampires, vampires pride themselves on, even though they're made of dead flesh, on smelling clean and elegant and silky and smooth. Well, like Nadja smell said she them. smells like goat cheese a lot, so... <laughs> <Nadja>. <laughs> Probably Gizmo. Yeah, Guillermo's gonna stink, isn't he? Well, he's, he's only got two cardigans, one of which is costume and the other one is his own. So... That sort of tells you everything, I think. And one pair of pants. I think Nandor as well, maybe. You know, when he opens the coffin, though, I mean, he's been his... Imagine a co yeah. a t 11 hours worth of morning breath in a coffin. I mean... And you had a big uh, meal of blood the night before. Alrighty, so roommate most likely to make the biggest mess when sucking blood. <laughs> sucking, sucking blood? <laughs> sucking blood? Well, you're eating the the neck. Oh, I know. I was just making sure. <laughs> Sucking blood. I think it, it's gotta be Laszlo. He just, you know, he doesn't give an F, right? Yeah, I would I would say Laszlo. Laszlo is, um, probably gets the most prey, so makes the most mess. I don't know why, but I feel like Laszlo, he's a, he's a big shooter. Gizmo's got a, he's, he, I mean, he has to clean it up, so Laszlo wouldn't care about any any sort of mess that you made. But as the old saying goes, I didn't come here to make friends. I would agree. Roommates most likely to have very loud sex. I'm gonna say Nandor. Nandor, I don't yeah. think Nandor has sex. Yeah, you were all ready for the, at the orgy. You had dildo stuck to your knees, remember? I know, but that's the thing. Like, I feel like that's he has just to every day. I just always have dildos. Phalluses to him, like, How's the dildo? like he has to attach phalluses to him because he you know he doesn't want true connection with his own phallus that he's got to attach these extra large phalluses to you know i don't know that's deep i i would say probably uh laszlo and Naja, even after 300 years the passion is quite obviously still there screaming yeah screaming jumping knife fighting talking oh, about ahead. phalluses sorry i actually found one of nando's old condoms <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a hole at both ends. <laughs> There's a baby vampire somewhere right now. <laughs> they're gonna make. They're gonna make me wear this. In they're gonna make me wear this in quarantine. Gizmo, get the dildos. Gizmo, try out the dildos. Mmm. How are the dildos? They're fine. Thank you so much for playing our game. Now, finally, congratulations on season three. I know I am super excited to see what gets cooked up. 
Um, but what can you tell us and what do you think fans will be most excited about for this third season? There's a lot of stuff, but we don't want to give any ways, any surprises. But we did talk earlier about not really ever having seen Nandor with a serious love interest. That might come up. Um, I think uh, the fact that last season ended with them uh, almost dying, but then Guillermo killing all the other vampires around them definitely is going to have a ripple effect on their standing in the vampire community and the jeopardy that they're in. Um, I think some old faces that we might have forgotten about if you watch season two closely, if you watch season two and said, boy, that's a loose end that they never tied up, will <laughs> rear its head in a fun way. And, uh, and they get a hellhound to protect the house. All right. Well, thank you all so much for coming by and hanging out. I know, like I said, I'm really excited for season three. So can't wait to see it. Thanks for having us. Happy Comic-Con. <laughs> Happy Comic-Con. Thanks so much. It was fun. Look, no hands. <laughs>